Good morning, Mama Squad, and welcome back to our channel. This is going to be one of the last times I'm able to sleep like this, laying in a bed for the next, like, probably two weeks. Uh, it's gonna be Hopefully crazy. less. You didn't really sleep well, I guess, last night, because you've just been thinking about it. Uh, like, I woke up a couple times, and I was tossing and turning, and I was probably because I was anxious. Yeah. He's anxious. But. Because yesterday he was like, I wanted to go to sleep, and he just, like, kept wanting to stay up. And I'm like, are you okay? I was like, I feel like you're really anxious, but. We literally leave. It is 8.01. We have to we, leave in 25 We minutes. have to leave in 24 minutes to get there by 8.45 for them to start the surgery. We're at a hotel right now in Fort Lauderdale also. <sighs> so how are you? Feeling? Let the members school know how you're feeling. Are you excited? Know, I'm excited, but like, I'm just curious more. I'm just ready to get this done. Are you just nervous? I'm just ready to get this done. I'd be honest. Are you nervous? Are you maybe a little, okay, but like, so not he's, really? He's he's like, not, the same he goes time. the whole week, he, the whole couple weeks we were before this, he was like, I'm not nervous at all. No, I'm not no. that nervous, but like, I feel like you're no, more nervous for me than I am. Yeah, I am because I just I care about you and I worry about you and I love you and I just want you to have a good. Should we do it before? Here, look, look yeah. at the back of my head right now. Before they cut it up. Ew. Alright guys, this is the back of his head. Oh my gosh, he has so much hair. I know. Wow. I had literally have not gotten a haircut in like two months. Yes. But look at it. I'm not going to be able to do this. I know. Like, He's going to have stitches all months. in the back there. Oh my gosh, it's about to be insane. It's literally going to go from here all the way to here. Oh. It's going to be a big stitch. Oh. God. But as you, you saw on my forehead in the other videos, I mean, we'll also pop up a picture once we like get more of the surgery done yeah and you can see the before and after but like it's happening right now it's, guys it's getting real bill's gonna try to film as much as he can in the room i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to film in there but i am gonna bring the camera and i paid a lot of money so like i'm assuming they're gonna let me yeah film my own procedure you yeah. know what i mean like they do youtube we videos themselves won't show you guys the actual no there's procedure. gonna be there's gonna be no like gory yeah, stuff no. just in case people don't like that on here and because like I really don't think that's like you know maybe like the after of like the stitches in there yeah, or, like but like he's just I'm shaving them, my head he's gonna, like, <laughs> like them talking to him telling him like what's gonna go on I kind of want you to film that cause basically I anything that I yeah. I can I'm going to yeah yeah whether I have to take it off my phone or not but exactly we have to find some breakfast because I'm supposed to eat a good breakfast and I only have 20 minutes oh, to God, find something go. so we, we should go. probably go downstairs there was a Starbucks down there but like I don't know if it's open so I'm we're just kind of sure we're winging it at this point Clock. But I, you you never know. Well, I typed it in and it didn't pop up on the map. Starbucks because Starbucks is good luck. That's a good luck. Yes. But I can't have any coffee because they said I can't have coffee the, the morning it's before. Fine. You can just get you a nice so I literally can only I can't even like, drink anything you don't there. Like you want oatmeal? Yeah. Let's go get oatmeal. Let's go. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, so we just made it. I finished eating a Starbucks sandwich. That was pretty good, and now I'm chewing gum so they don't smell my bad breath. You but probably should get in there because you want to make sure you can find the place. We literally made it in perfect timing. Yeah, we did. We're supposed to get here by 8.45. And the Starbucks at our uh, hotel was closed. Or no, it only served coffee. So we had to drive to another Starbucks, and then we came I'm here. I had a bad period cramps. Yeah, and on top of that, she has to sit alone all day having bad period Waiting period for cramps. him to be done. But you know what? This isn't about me. This is about you. I can suffer through. I'll be okay. It's surreal. It's happening right now, guys. It is. It's it's happening now. Oh my god. Ah! It's gonna be like a six to eight hour surgery procedure. Please keep out. <laughs> I love you. Please keep me updated. Hopefully I come out on the other side. Good luck, baby. Looking better as when I went in. I love you. I'm gonna come out looking like a. I'm gonna probably come out looking worse because <laughs> they're gonna shave my head. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna let her be. Wish me luck, Marvel Squad. I think I'm nervous for you too, so it's making it worse. Comment down your wishes. Thank you for all the support throughout the recent videos that we've been doing about it. And uh, sit back and enjoy the show. I'm excited. Good luck, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it took me like 10 minutes to find out what floor this place is on, but I'm here. Let's go. All right, guys, so I just got in the actual room where they're gonna be shaving the front of my head where they're doing, you know, the implant, and then obviously the rear of my head where they're doing the extraction. But like, it looks like I'm in like a little barber shop in here. It's kind of funny. And then my doctor is also my hairstylist, right? So. Gross. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so wish me luck. You're gonna be seeing me without, with a little less hair than I already have. Nothing I can't handle. <laughs> All right, so I know you guys have never seen me like this, but this is what my head looks like. I'm gonna do it before and after, obviously, like whenever the time comes. But this is what I look like now. And she's saying I look like a little like samurai, but never had a man bun in, unless like my sisters like grab me and like put my hair in a bun. That's the only other time. But this is what I'm working with right now. 
and now we're gonna drop the hairline what they're actually gonna be like planting it inside the hairline and we're gonna see like where exactly my forehead's gonna hopefully end because you know it, it you can't even see the end right now <laughs> all right she's drawing the line right now and they actually use sharpie so wait how do you get it off we wipe it off in the middle. It just comes off? Yeah, with alcohol swab. <laughs> so skin's the only thing that Sharpie, I guess, comes off of, but <laughs> we're gonna draw it up right now. All right, Marble Squats. This is the new line, or the, the line that we drew up, and I think it looks really nice. Like, it, it it's level, and it kind of like, it goes along with how my forehead is laid out, and I feel like it's gonna look super nice, obviously, when I actually have hair there. But like, this is what we're working with today, and this is how it's gonna be. So for anyone that doesn't want to see like weird hair with a little bit of red in it, like skip the video right now. But for those people that do want to see, this is what my hair looks like afterwards. Now it's not really, I guess it's a, it's a little bit of bleeding, but like it's mainly just, you know, irritation from probably the, you know. Placing of the Placing, glass. yes. But she said it came out great and I've never seen anything like this before. So if she says it, then I'm happy with it. And I love it already. Like I, I have a hairline finally and I it doesn't it doesn't go back anymore and when it grows in it's gonna look amazing I can't wait definitely <laughs> we put a really nice natural hairline on him and jam-packed it what you're looking at is all of these are going to turn into actual hair so these are just the roots or the follicles that we planted beneath the skin surface we were kidding around but it's kind of like a chia pet <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's exactly you're in the chia pet phase and it's gonna just sprout and That's it takes crazy. a whole year for the final that's crazy, but hey, a year is better than not having any hair, in, in my case. And I can't wait to see it, so stay tuned because you guys are gonna see the growth as well. All right, we're finally back in the car. We did just film a little reaction on TikTok. Yeah, we did film something on TikTok, but Mariah's already seen it. But you saw how my head looked in there. That's how my head looked. Look, I have a, I have a hairline. Isn't that crazy? It's just so crazy. I have like, a freaking hairline. How many pokes they did in your head? You didn't feel that at all? No. No, I don't. And she let me film so much. I can't wait. They to were the see coolest it. people Did you ever. Tell about our channel and yeah, they, they yeah they were the coolest people ever. She was filming. They filmed my whole thing. Oh my god! And then I was filming at the same time. And the doctors were so cool. There were like four girls, five girls that were all working on me. And they were like the whole time they were just talking about like gossiping and not about anything bad. About yeah. they're just being funny, like just joking around with each other. And it was cool because like they were like real cool people that like you know so I, did, I didn't feel nervous at all. Did so. You you actually passed out? Oh my fainted? god. Guys, I didn't even tell you this. I literally fainted from the drugs that I was on and all of a sudden I was in my chair and you know that sick feeling when you like feel like you're gonna like black out? You're like, you're like, oh, you know, like you, you, your, your whole body just gets overwhelmed. Yeah. Well, it got overwhelmed and then like the next thing I know, I woke up and the chair was down. They took my shirt off and they had like a um, surgical cold. gown on. Oh my god. They ripped it, they ripped it open and they had two fans on me and they were like, just breathe, just breathe and they were like, you know, all sitting around there they totally stopped the chair was laying down so did I was you like, pass out when they were like cutting your head yeah but it wasn't because they were cutting my head it was because the medicine that they put me on was really strong it makes you like sleepy Maybe. and fatigued yeah and sometimes if you don't focus on your breathing you'll pass out because all of a sudden it just hit me oh my gosh it's making me pass out thinking about it. and i gotta drive and i'm on my period we have a three hour car is. ride guys look at this two hours and 50 minutes until we finally get back home and i was honestly not expecting it to look the way that it looks this is like, insane this mom is Crazy, and we're gonna give you guys like a full like you already know what's about to go down. I don't know, I'm so excited. Hey, all I know is Mariah's gonna have to be cooking, taking care of me, and they said make sure not to do anything, don't really move a lot. Really? Yeah, like I can't look down no matter what. Otherwise, the hair follicles could literally pop out. They could pop out? Yeah, they could fall out. Wait, I'm confused. What do you mean fall out? They could fall out. Guys, three hours. Three freaking hours. And probably Actually, 20 minutes no, later. Five hours later. 
because I've been sitting in the car since two o'clock and it's currently So started. it was traffic-y, it was terrible. Three hour car ride, but we finally made it home and I'm still looking bald. This is so weird because I literally look like I shaved my head. Yeah, so I'm trying to cut it off with the camera, but you guys already saw it. It's it's looking a little, what, what do you, what, what's the word? What, what is it looking like, babe? Because apparently Mariah doesn't want to eat next holy. to me. Holy. <laughs> I'm looking holy, guys. No, not that I don't want to eat next to you. I think it's just more of the fact that like it's really bloody, and I just don't want to look at blood. This is insane. Today, literally, I got the surgery done, and it's insane yeah. because we only planned this a week ago. Yeah. We literally got the the, the balding videos I, out and this video within a I week. I have to go pick up his medicine. I have to eat quick. Go pick up his medicine. Oh yeah, we um, went to Walgreens. They didn't even rest. have it ready. He needs to rest. He might look like he's okay right now, but his numbness is about to wear off. I literally, I can't bend over. I can't in case my hair falls out literally and I can't do anything except like sit down and just like take it easy I can't have my blood pressure going um, and I can't even wash my hair until tomorrow and tomorrow I can't even wash it I have to like pour water on it in a cup so yeah, so Bill's got a lot of recovering to do you know he needs to rest so he probably should stop talking for the night and just lay down on the couch eat some food I need to eat some food because I'm starving I'm gonna take care of him I'm gonna do all I'm that stuff <laughs> well uh, we're gonna film Everything, the whole, like everything that goes down, there's gonna be a lot that's gonna probably happen. Dude, we're gonna have to do so much. You guys, I wanna show you how I have to sleep. I wanna show you how I have to eat. Like, I literally have to sleep sitting up. So, get ready. Next, Next videos, video. they're gonna be crazy. They're gonna show you the behind the scenes of how I'm gonna be able to do my day to day tasks because it's literally like insane. The it's stuff like that they're changing. making. It's life changing. Like, it's light. Like, your life basically is like about to change. And right every now. day, you're gonna see the progress in my hair and literally like a couple months yeah. from now i'm gonna be like james bond a whole, whole snack. snack a yeah. whole snack all right guys we're gonna end the video oh babe i can't lean forward i keep forgetting baby i went like this i went like it's fine there's blood in my hair no there's not blood in your hair Ew. oh and also if anything touches it there's a chance that like the follicles that they implanted will like come out so that's why nothing can touch it so I'm stop leaning on me no you just leaned on me <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to end the video here. Everybody I'm wish Bill good, safe recoveries in the comments. I'm so glad that we were able to show you a bunch of the behind the scenes. Because once again, I did not know if they were going to let me film. But really, they loved that I film. And they even filmed some for their own channel. But once again, thank you so much for the amazing comments on all of my videos. I literally go through every single comment. And I see all of the kind comments that you guys leave. And it's just like a reminder of how amazing our Marvel Squad is. Yes, and seriously. why... We literally love you guys. Like, you support us through everything. And uh, for all the people that said you don't need to change, you're amazing the way you are, but I'm proud of you. Like, thank you. Thank you so much for all the amazing comments. Now, I'm gonna go rest. I'm gonna stop talking. And I hope you guys love this video, and we will see you in the next video. But, but until, until then, then, peace. peace. Love, love you guys. guys. Ignore how absolutely crazy I look. I just got done washing my face and my lashes, and I look crazy. I still have to blow dry them and brush them out. So they look a little bit wild and weird but i just wanted to hop on here and just say that i am so proud of bill i am so excited to see his final results and just see everything you know i feel like a lot of men they don't go through a lot of procedures like i feel like us girls we experience like we can just go get our boobs done we can go get our butt done we can go get our lips done our face done like there's so many things us girls can do and men can do the same thing as well there's so many procedures for men but all i'm saying is it's like uncommon to see like a guy get a surgery like this like a hair transplant especially at this age and i don't know i'm just so proud of bill for being strong going through with this you know having the confidence that he does have I i'm just so excited because this has been a struggle for him his hair has been a struggle for him and i'm just so excited for him to get his confidence back it just makes my heart so happy and i am so freaking proud of him i'm gonna be here for him literally as much as he needs me during like this process and just like his procedure and just everything to all the men out there that are wanting to do something like this go for it like honestly hair really changes the way that you feel and makes you feel and if this is something that you can do in the future i hope this can give you guys some motivation and you know give you guys you know a look into it because we had really nobody that we knew had ever done this i don't know i just love him so much guys and I i'm just so proud of him i could say it over and over and over again he's gonna get a lot of love from me this week and the next week and whenever he however much love he needs from me i'm really gonna be doing anything and everything for him because i know this is such a big procedure and i don't know just guys just know you know, I am so happy for him and I just hope you guys comment down below some sweet prayers and thoughts and, you know, 
he can has a good recovery. But yeah, Bill, I love you so much and I'm so proud of you. And I know you're watching this, but just know I love you so much and you mean the world to me. And I'm just so happy for you. And I am so excited to see what's to come with your hair, to see you get up in the mornings and feel good about yourself, which I know you already have. And I loved you the way that you did before. And I'm gonna love you the way you do now. So whether you did this or not, I love you and I'm so freaking proud of you and I am so excited to see you just feel good because I know this has been a struggle for you and I know this has been hard and it's been crazy for you. So I, I, don't, I am just so excited and happy that I get to see you flourish once your hair grows and to see you with a whole different confidence and I, I'm just I'm just excited for this journey and I love you so much, babe.